Hello, it's late and we are editing the Sam Charm News, of course, as per usual, on a Tuesday night. Good gosh, work gets in the way of my YouTube editing. Work takes up so much of your day. I mean, you could get so much more done if you didn't have to work. Oh, sleep in for one. That'd be alright. Mm. Mm. I actually went to work an hour earlier than I thought. Well, actually an hour earlier than I was meant to. Because I thought I was starting an hour earlier, but it turned out... Um, and when they when they're at nine, when I start at ten, it's terrible. But um, rather than starting, then I just I, I went home. I, I live five minutes away, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just go back home. <laughs> then I'll come back. Um, one interesting thing though is that there was a uh, count how many sort of lollies are in the jar, sort of thing. And there's a cool theory. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but if you get lots of people to estimate how many things are in a jar. And I guess similar sort of circumstances. And then you add up everyone's guess and then average it out. So add up everyone's guess and then divide it by however many people guessed. Then that gives you the average. And the average is meant to be really close to the answer. And the more people you have, the more the closer and better it'll be. Some Something like the people who underestimate or counteract the people who overestimate. And the most people will be in the middle. Probably like a standard deviation curve and all that probability goodness. But um, it's really interesting because it actually worked. There was like 60-something things in the jar, and the, and the average was just one off. So adding all those people up, then dividing by the amount of people getting the average was just one off the actual. Oh, mind blown. That's so cool. It actually worked in, in practice because I, I, knew, I knew that theory for a while, but I never really had a chance to test it out, and it actually worked. Oh. Mm. Hot chocolate. That'll keep you awake, Sam. Jeez. But yeah, um, editing the Santa News did the April Fool's Day video the other day where I said, I'm a fraud. I'm not a fraud. I'm, I'm not Albert Hambush. Unfortunately, I don't have a space yacht. Gosh darn. Um, but you all those April Fool's things, so confusing. You think something's real and then it turns out to be an April Fool's thing. I wonder, is this year bigger than any other April Fool's? Seems like, and maybe I'm just noticing it more this year or something. I don't know, it's crazy. Anyway, do the same time news. Hopefully it'll be a good one, and hopefully we'll win the YouTube. Uh, YouTube's ending, by the way, if you haven't seen that YouTube video. YouTube's ending, and they're going to pick a winner, so same time news, we're going to do it. I'm going to get picked. Oh, so much editing to do. Oh, gosh, anyway. Good day. See you tomorrow for the Sam Charm News, latest edition, latest and greatest. Make sure you share it with all your friends when it comes out. It's going to be amazing and great. Have a good day, good night, good everything. Funky bye.